turns out, if you're a temporary resident or applying to be one, you actually need to show up to the police station within 48 hours to give them the address that you're staying at. So we're gonna try and cross a border, which the closest one is Slovenia. So I had to look for a rental car, so I went into the Aeroplan store. I ended up finding a pretty good deal on a car from Budget, and we'll be picking it up at 9 a.m. tomorrow. We're all packed, we're just heading out the door. We're going to get our rental car. Justin's doing an inspection with the person that works here. So the reason we're going to Slovenia in the first place is because technically we're supposed to report to the police station and give them our permanent address. I had read that we had 72 hours, so we went on the last day. They were closed. So we had to come back on the fourth day, and unfortunately that was too late. And the reason why we have to do all this is because we're planning on staying for more than the 90 days maximum. So we're going to try and cross a border and get a fresh stamp on our passport to reset our counter. Apparently I'm navigating. This never goes well. I usually do a really good job, but as soon as I miss a turn, I hear it. <laughs> into our drive and we've already made a stop not because we need gas i forgot to bring kunas which is the croatian currency we're driving on a tool road so just in case we decided to stop at a gas station and get some money and at the same time we're also getting something that's called a vignette this is papa this is the vignette that we need to drive on the slovenian highways if we don't have this it's a big fine that's what i read online at least all right atm is not here We've literally had the car for about 50 minutes and we haven't done much kilometers. I'm such a brat. When I asked him for snacks, right in his mind got us chips, which I love. And I said, no, I wanted breakfast. And he very nicely went back to get me a pastry. That's all Yay. I had. <laughs> oh. Kartica je nevažeća. Molimo vas platite drugom kartu. Molimo vas pričekajte. Hvala vam. Želimo first border was the exit border from Croatia. We got our exit stamp, which is really the whole point of this road trip after all. And a few meters down the road was the entry border to Slovenia. I think Slovenians as a whole drive really quickly. Speed limit's 100, but no one seems to care. People were going at least 170. She did good. Made it to Lake Bled. It's definitely cold here. I think it's six degrees. Being in the sun helps a lot. When you're not in the sun, it's really chilly. So the castle that's right over to my right is amazing because it's way up on this cliff. It's on a rock and it's the exact width of the rock. It's a traditional castle in the sense that it has a drawbridge, which I don't know if it still works or not, that goes over a moat. Getting a little lunch by the water. If you listen, you can hear ducks and someone playing acoustic. It's quite beautiful here. And we have a pan from our homeland, Croatia. Look at our view. Such a nice day. It was pretty cold when we got out of the car, but now it's like sunny. I got a few layers on, but I'm so comfortable. Really nice church. We are walking up the stairs from the church to the Bled Castle. Oh God. Here we go. Summit. There's a lot of stairs, but we made it. We drove the car right up to Lake Bled today. Apparently it's very difficult to find parking in the summertime, but right now it's pretty dead because it's winter. The parking is two euros per hour, which is pretty good. The castle behind us, the entry fee is about 15 euros to get in each, so I don't think we will do it today. Plus we want to go into Ljubljana and have some time to look around while it's not dark out.
rushing down the cliff to the car to go visit the city before the sun goes down. If ever you're in the area of Ljubljana, definitely make the trek. It's about 45 minutes away from the city. Lots of mountains and a big lake and castles and churches. It's worth it. And now we're on our way to Ljubljana. Castle, which is called Lake Bled, no, Bled Castle. The castle has Wi-Fi. <laughs> Quite the modern castle, won't you say? So we parked. <clears throat> Princess Pooch. But she's a lot of <clears throat> State your purpose. State your purpose. State your purpose. <laughs> He's lying in the wheat. Fresh bread. Four, ten years old. Yeah, it's really small. 